good morning good afternoon good evening for anybody who are watching this video let me welcome you all to our channel future endeavors in the previous class we have already done two numericals on the reflection of light today we will be doing some more of the numericals which are involving the concept of the mirror formula and the magnification formula okay <clears throat> so the numerical problems that we are doing have been taken from the consigns physics book class 9 okay so without wasting much time let us quickly move on to the discussion okay please take out your pen and copy and start writing although the problems have been taken from the book i'll be writing the question once because then it will be easier for all you to understand the problem okay so let us write down the first question then we'll be solving the numerical problem okay so what does the question says just take the question so question number one it says a concave mirror okay so it's a concave mirror is it visible uh, yeah it is visible okay a concave mirror forms a virtual image so concave mirror forms a virtual image of size twice that of the object twice that of the object placed <coughs> placed at a distance of 5 cm from it 5 cm from it ok so it has been asked to calculate first part focal length of the mirror focal length second part says the position of the image the position of image ok fine <clears throat> so these are the two things that you have to find out so uh, as I discussed in the previous class we will be first of all discussing uh, first of all writing down the given information that we have so what are the information is given so solution let us see the solution first of all it has been given that the mirror concave mirror forms a virtual image size twice that of the object so let object height object height is denoted by the letter H O H O B X. In that case, let us take it to be centimeter. In that case, image height image height is twice that of the object. So it is. 2x centimeter fine now the object is placed at a distance of 5 centimeter fine the object is placed at a distance of 5 centimeter so object distance object distance it is related to letter u object distance u is equal to 5 centimeter okay now for a concave mirror can you just think of for a concave mirror uh, if you see the ray diagrams for different positions of the objects the concave mirror forms a virtual magnified image why it is magnified because the image is twice the size of the object so virtual image is formed only when the uh, concave mirror forms a virtual image and when it is magnified it is actually behind the mirror so virtual image uh, okay 
from the virtual image that is said so virtual image image height should be taken as positive object height is always positive image height here is also positive object distance as you know is always negative fine and what else has been given nothing okay so to first of all determine the position focal length and the position of the image so we know that there is a formula relating the focal length image distance and object distance and that is 1 by f is equals to 1 by v plus 1 by u so we have this formula <coughs> so consider the first part of the solution so it's the formula is 1 by f is equals to 1 by u plus 1 by v now only u has been given v has not been given and you have to determine the f so there are two variables so we have to take the help of another equation and what is that equation that is the equation for the magnification so magnification the equation for the magnification what does it say it says that magnification is equal to the image height by the object height okay image height by the object height and that is equals to negative of the image distance and by object distance okay so there is another formula which says that magnification m is equals to image height h i by h o that is equals to minus v y u now we will be utilizing this formula in order to get a relation between u and v in order to get a relation between u and v okay so from this can you say that uh, when it is said okay so I am just erasing of the question, so I will be bringing the solution in the upper part of the board, I will be containing the solution from there, okay, so we are continuing here, so as you know, hi is 2x positive, ho is x positive, image distance is 5, and sorry, object image distance is minus v and object distance is 5 it is minus 5 okay so something like this the expression comes now from this we can easily cut this two part x and x then v is equals to minus 10 okay so v we are getting as minus 10 then if we put in the formula so actually this is the image distance isn't it so is the position of the image we are already obtaining now if you calculate the focal length, so focal length will be 1 by f is equals to 1 by minus 5, okay, 1 by minus 5 plus 1 by minus 10, okay, I have done a small mistake, it should be here plus 10, not minus 10, because this to minus cancels out and is becoming positive. So if you take the LCM, it is 10 and here it is minus 2 and here it is plus 1 so minus 1 by 10 therefore the f focal length turns out to be minus 10 so focal length is or f equals to minus 10 therefore we shall be writing it like this therefore focal length focal length is equals to 10 centimeter and why it is coming down to be negative because it's a concave mirror for a concave mirror, the focal length is always negative. Okay, and we have already second part of the question says that what is the position of the image? It has already found here. The V has been already found. So second part of the solution, if you say position of image, position of image as it is positive, we shall be writing it as ten centimeter behind the mirror. Ten centimeter behind the mirror. When you are writing behind mirror, it indicates that the image is virtual and the image is found on the other side of the object. The side in which the object is kept, the other side, opposite side, that is behind the mirror, the image has been found. So, this is the solution. So, I hope this question is clear. Okay. Now, let us quickly move on to the next question. It is a bit uh, easier problem, but it is a different kind of problem. So we are just see, uh, seeing how we are just seeing how it is being done. Okay. So I am just raising it off. If you have not finished copying or if you have not understood it properly, just 
pause the video move back a little go through it once again slowly a bit slowly and you will be i think able to understand the solution obviously if you have any doubt please do mention it in the comment box we will be definitely attempting your specific question okay fine now coming to question number 2 so what does the question says let us see what is the question all about okay so the question says image from where convex mirror okay so small question image formed by a convex mirror image image from a convex mirror is of is of size one third the size of object the size of object fine then what is say how are you and he related how are you and we related so this is the simple question so it is the solution is very easy question so it doesn't mention that the image size is one third the size of the object so you know the formula for magnification as you know m is equals to hi by ho equals to minus u by u so if we consider let object height b x then image height image height is 1/3 x now as it has been mentioned here that is a convex mirror now convex mirror always forms virtual images convex mirror always forms virtual image so for virtual image the image height is always positive object height is always positive so this is positive and this is also positive so it is being asked how the u and v are related therefore we can say therefore x from this formula on this part of the formula you can write x sorry 1/3 x 1/3 x by x is equal to minus v by u so x and x cancels out so it is from this you can write u is equals to if we just do another step 1 by 3 is equals to minus v by u and cross multiply it you get that therefore u is equals to minus 3v okay so this is the solution u equals to minus 3v or you can also write v equals to minus 1/3 fine so i think the solution is clear okay so with this we come to the end of this lecture we have discussed the four numerical problems which will help you to solve the other numerical problems if you have specific doubt about any problem please mention it in the comment box we will be solving that problem also okay so in the next class we will be starting the chapter which is on a sound okay this is also an interesting chapter like the reflection of light okay so please uh, till then please do study well and please don't forget to mention your queries and doubts we will be able to solve a problem till the next video thank you goodbye